So today we're in for a treat. This restaurant um, called Tichanan, Tichanan um, is down here in the Vistamar Marina. So we don't even have to leave the community here. And it's their grand opening tonight. So Brian and I made our reservations and we're gonna make our way down to the marina to go check out Tichanan. <laughs> Can't these people just name it something easy like Joe's? Okay, teach a non restaurant. It's supposed to be Thai food, so I'm excited they better have Pad Thai. All right, so here we are. Golf cart. Teach a non authentic Thai cuisine. And it's so beautiful inside. You don't think they're open? <gasps> they're not. <gasps> Look at these liars, and they didn't even send us a thing. Well, there goes today's dinner plans. And I even wore a new dress and put my hair in a high ponytail, which is super fancy for me. Now what, Hummel? Looks like we're going down to Boga Bar. Ugh. Okay, fine. It's either that or I cook. Let's Take go to Boga poison. Bar. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we have made our way down the little... Uh, walkway part way to the marina so you can see there's some families over here at the beach so these are all amenities that are here for the taking if you stay at our friend bala's airbnb here in vista mar which is linked below okay we have made it to bogobar we're gonna go in check out the menu and let you know what we think about the food all right here's our place map bogobar i'm gonna try to translate like, it's not the same. There is no equal. Boga bar. Okay, so uh, we're sitting outside, and you can see the beautiful view. Now let's check out the menu. All right, so as always, pause the video if you want to really see the prices. So we've got appetizers, lots of seafood. Makes sense. Uh, then we come down, and we have soup and salads. And then we have pastas. From there we get into specialties, which again is all seafood. Uh, then we have some chicken and some different meats, so like some steak and things like that. Uh, then back over here to some burgers and desserts. Yes, Lord. Okay, desserts. And if you've got kids, my condolences, and there's their menu. Okay, so I'm looking at the menu. I mean, you know that there are gringos that see this and freak out. Fried spiders. Oh my God, these people in Central America are so crazy. Yeah, chances are that's like uh, squid tentacles. Okay, so he just brought me another menu actually. Um, so this one is all sushi. And so then they also brought us like a big, um, like alcoholic beverage menu so there's all that stuff too okay okay so when i was scanning that menu and i was just seeing like the big titles because that's all i could see through the frame and i saw seafood i was like there'll be shrimp on here no problem there wasn't and so they had a garlic shrimp as an appetizer and then they had a garlic fish as an entree and i hate 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 being that person even in the united states i don't like you know, I don't screw around with people's menus, but I did not, I wanted seafood and I didn't want anything they had. So I talked to her in Spanish and hopefully we have figured out that I want the garlic shrimp instead of garlic fish, but with all of the accompaniments that the fish gets, just replace the fish with the shrimp. We'll see how my Spanish did on that when it comes out, but I'm hoping that it worked. I, I hate to do that. I really, really do, but dang it, I wanted some camarones. Yes, we figured it out. So there's my garlic shrimp with a little salad and my yucca fries. And Brian got, what did you get again? Tagliala, or sorry, I can't it's, pronounce it. Some kind of pasta? It's pasta, it's a, a fettuccine alfredo. Oh, okay, with shrimp, shrimp because we were both in a shrimpy kind of a mood. All right. Well, you know, Brian, you always have to get you eating on camera. Or Entertainment. All right, tell me what you think. It's good. It's good? Not blown away, but it's good. Okay, not blown away, but it's good. All right, so I'm going to try this. Let me. I'll get my fork out and I'll come right back. Okay, I got my fork. Here we go with the shrimp. Okay, 
right now, mine's good. Mine's good. It could be a little warmer. It's not super hot. It's just hot. Oh, my yuca fries are going to burn my face off. But, yeah. No, mine's good. Brian is a little eh. Hello. I'm Mary. I'm a selfish, spoiled, self-absorbed gringo. Gringa. Because when we started the video last of our last restaurant experience and I was all upset because we had reservations and they weren't open, well, come to find out, duh, had I been thinking it's because they couldn't get any vegetables <laughs> because there's a protest going on. And I didn't even take two seconds to think about that. So they are opening tonight. This is a few days later, like four or five days later. Um, the roads have been cleared and we are here um, at Pichanan, I think I got it right that time, uh, to try out their Thai food. This is kind of their grand opening. So it'll be really exciting to see how the food is here. Plus, we have a surprise. We have guests, which is very rare on this channel. We'll meet them inside. All right, in we go. Is today the first day the restaurant is open? Oh, okay. Look how beautiful it is in here. It's so lovely. Okay. Look at it. It's beautiful in here. Okay. This is the very first day, so this will be fun. And, you know, me and my impolite self, I haven't even introduced our guests. Okay, so um, there are some other kind of like protest refugees, I guess, um, that are here in Vista Mar that are members of the IGO Panama Facebook group, which I will link below. And uh, they messaged me and said, hey, would you like to go to dinner? And we're like, yeah, sure, that'd be great. So this is Jessica. Hello. And this is Zach. Hi. All right, so we'll be having dinner with them and we'll let you know everything we order and what we like and what we don't like. It's really sweet. The wait staff is being like super attentive and you can tell they're a little nervous. It's the first night. It's a big deal for them. Okay, so let's go through the menu real quick and I'll show you what it is. As always, um, slow it down and stop it if you want to see the prices. Okay, so this is um, all Thai food. And so these are ones that you share between one and three people. Different things that they have. There's seafood and chicken and fried rice and crab. Now this is sharing between three to six people. Okay. So just more stuff. All right, then, oh my gosh, six to eight people. This place is set up for groups. Okay, the menu's beautiful. All right, and then we have single price items. So you can see we have salad rolls with crab, cow pet, tom ka cow. I can't pronounce uh, Thai much better than I can pronounce Spanish, so let's just not go there. Okay, and... More single price things. I'm looking for pad thai to see if I see it. Not so far. I mean, for such a fancy restaurant, these prices aren't bad. I mean, because this is like kind of a high-end restaurant. And I've seen prices like this at just kind of like local joints. So it's not bad at all. And finding Thai in Panama is not, not easy. Pad thai shrimp, mango sticky rice. Okay, so Brian and I figured out what we're gonna get. All right, we are going to share the chicken spring rolls here. And then I'm going to get the chicken with cashew nuts. And Brian is going to get the pad thai shrimp. All right, so starting off, we have our chicken spring rolls. And we always know who has to try things on camera. I don't eat on camera. No. <laughs> All right. He is. He's he's the the tester. Really? Okay. Well, I'm gonna crack into mine. Okay. okay, Jessica. What did you get? I got shrimp pad thai. Okay. It looks really beautiful. It, it has these beautiful little scallions on it, and I can't wait to eat it. All right. Awesome. Um, Zach is eating the same thing I am, which is an empty plate right now. <laughs> so <laughs> good. No, the chicken spring rolls, amazing. Like really, really flavorful. Very 
very, very good, like a little sauce to dip them in. Very tasty. So Zach and I are waiting for our dishes, and we'll report back. All right, Brian. Oh, man, I barely caught you with it, your mouth. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Good stuff. I won't film. I'm nice, so I won't film Jessica actually stuffing it into her mouth. So. <laughs> Like, if you dine with me twice, then I'm going to get you eating on camera. So, <laughs> but the first time, it's a freebie. <laughs> okay, Jessica, what did you think about that? It's good. It's, it's good. a good one, yeah? Awesome. Okay, I can't wait for mine. Oh, that's your first Panama beer, yeah? It is. Oh. All right, what do you think? Um, I just tried Brian's shrimp pad thai. It's really good. I've almost forgotten what I got. Oh, I got the cashew chicken. What did you get, Zach? Sweet and sour chicken. Sweet and sour. Okay, well, hopefully it'll be here soon. Apparently shrimp cooks faster than chicken. <laughs> Dinner guest Zach ordered sweet and sour chicken, correct? Yes, I did. All right. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, no rice. No. Oh, you have to ask for your rice. Oh. See, <laughs> and then I ordered the cashew chicken, which again is beautiful and smells divine. So I'll come back and let you know how it tastes. Yeah. Okay, so we just realized that we got switched. Well, I can tell you right now that yours is really, really good. <laughs> I'm good. So, that's <laughs> so we switched. So this is actually the cashew that I ordered, and that's his sweet and sour. And I'm telling you, that sweet and sour is really good. So this cashew has a lot to live up to right now. All right, so we're finished eating, we're waiting for our check, and this man walks over and asks us how things are. Well, just so happens he's the owner of this restaurant, and he's gonna tell you a little bit about what's going on here. Hi everyone, first of all, thank you for coming. It's been a pleasure that uh, you enjoyed the food today. We've been working very hard to, uh, to establish this restaurant. Me and my wife, we moved to Panama six months ago, and we noticed oh. that we went to all the Thai restaurants they have in this country and we noticed that they don't have those special ingredients that's, that you need for an mm -hmm. authentic Thai food, right? So the, the whole idea came up and we started to import actually all the ingredients directly from Thailand to here to get that authentic Wow! So that is uh, why hopefully we distinguish ourselves differently from the others and uh, hopefully a lot of people will come Come here and enjoy our place. Because yeah. I'll tell you, you know, I'm from Los Angeles, All right. so California. So yeah. we eat a lot of Thai food there, and Thai food is one of the things that I've missed a lot about living in Panama. Because you can't. I'm shocked you even tried every Thai restaurant in Panama. It must have been like three because I can't find one. Yeah, I think <laughs> it's, it's, five, it's five. It's hard to find, <laughs> yeah. and the flavors here are just amazing. So you really you, you have to come here and check this place out. How do people get in here though with the security gates? No, no problem. You just say that you're coming to the restaurant. Oh, and okay. It's just a security, and they let you in without. without Fantastic. Any so you don't have to live here or be renting here. You just Not say that you're coming to the restaurant, and then you're Not set. And we also have pick up service if some clients want to come here and eat we'll mm -hmm. actually have pickup service so we can pick the clients up to the restaurant and we drive them back that's amazing so where do you pick them up from how far do you go to coronado yes, or from coronado san carlos area amazing so if people want to come here and drink and don't know what drive back we have that service that is brilliant well, okay we well much success to you guys you thank definitely you. deserve it and thank you for a wonderful evening we're so no glad problem. we could thank be here you on your coming. grand opening hopefully i will see you soon again thank you, thank you too.